Now this question is about ammonia being added to separate samples of sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, barium chloride, and silicon chloride. Right now, this ammonia solution is a weak base solution, right? So it contains hydroxide ions, but it is an aqueous solution, so it contains water. Then we have aqueous solution of sodium chloride. So in aqueous solution of sodium chloride, okay, it contains sodium ions and also chloride ions. So when ammonia is added to this sodium chloride solution, uh, sodium will actually react with the uh, hydroxide ion okay, to form an AOH. Okay, if we add ammonia, right? Then this NaOH is soluble in water. You see, we have aqueous solution of sodium chloride, aqueous solution of ammonia. So in this case, we get free sodium ion, free moving hydroxide ions. So no precipitate will be produced, right? So you see, under this condition of this experiment, only two samples will produce a white precipitate. Okay, so in this case, no white precipitate. Okay, doesn't exist. Right, so an ACL will not give white precipitate when ammonia solution is added. So let's look at this set of answers A, B, C, and D. Let us like cross out the uh, sodium chloride because it, it cannot be the answer. Okay, it will not produce white precipitate when ammonia is added. Then we rule out C and D. Now let's look at magnesium chloride solution. Now magnesium chloride solution also has magnesium cation, right? And also chloride ions. Now again, if we add ammonia, the magnesium ion will, will react with the hydroxide ions and form magnesium hydroxide. Now this is a white precipitate because we learned that in group two, the hydroxides, okay, uh, the solubility will increase going down the group. Now magnesium is, uh, is on top of the group, right? So it doesn't uh, dissolve in water that well, so it will form a white precipitate. Right, therefore, let's go and look at A and B. That's why A and B both contains magnesium chloride. Okay, because magnesium chloride will produce what precipitate when ammonia is added. So now we have to check barium chloride and silicon chloride. Now, barium chloride, barium is a group 2 element just like magnesium. So inside this barium chloride solution, sorry, uh, it contains the barium ions and also the chloride ions. Now let's add ammonia to this barium chloride. So what happens is the barium ion here will react with the hydroxide ion from ammonia solution. So it forms barium hydroxide. Now unlike magnesium hydroxide, barium hydroxide is more soluble, right? So it forms an aqueous solution. So that means free moving barium ions, free moving hydroxide ions. So no white precipitate. Right, so let me put a cross here. So A cannot be the answer. So the answer can only be B, but let's us check why silicon chloride will form precipitate with ammonia solution is added. So in this silicon chloride liquid, Right, it is a liquid. It, it, it has molecular structure. It doesn't uh it doesn't have removing silicon ion and also chloride ion. Okay, so when we add ammonia solution, so silicon chloride will actually react with the water in this aqueous solution, right, and form silicon oxide. Silicon oxide doesn't dissolve in water, so it is a solid. 
slight solid. So it becomes the Y precipitate in the solution, right? And we get H HCl. Let's, let me just balance the equation. Okay, so now we get what precipitate because Ci SiO2 silicon oxide is formed. So yes, okay, where ammonia aqueous solution is added to silicon chloride, we get what precipitate. So the answer is B.